the consultation process is when we actually bring you into the procedure room. Part of the reason for doing that is we want to allay any anxieties or fears that you have about having a procedure done awake. We explain the process to you, how you keep, we keep you comfortable, and all the different things that we do to make this feel like a more premium experience and not like you're at the dentist. So it's nice to come in here and see this place beforehand and understand it's not some like big scary room and there's like, you know, you're never going to know who's going to be in here. You get to meet all the staff that are in there with you. Any questions that you have, you can ask me right then and there. Um, I just think it's a nice thing to make sure that people have seen something before so you don't build up this apprehension about what it's going to be like. Once you've been in here and seen it and then we talk about it, it helps to kind of squash down some of those anxieties that you have and make this a much more comfortable process so that when you get in here, you're excited about your surgery and you're not anxious about what the procedure room is going to be like. probably more than 90% of our procedures here awake with minimal sedation and this is our Joint Commission accredited office-based surgery center. So we highly recommend that if you're healthy enough for it and you don't have anxieties about needles or about hearing loud noises, this is usually a very, very good option. It can be safer, it can cost less money, and it can give you a quicker recovery as well. So I think that people should consider it if they're open to it. Um, it's certainly something that we can talk more about when we're here but um, we also have the option to go to a hospital or to an ambulatory surgery center that's freestanding because I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. So it's not just about deciding whether or not you want the surgery, it's also deciding about what's gonna be the right venue for you to have the surgery in, and that's really a discussion between myself and the patient.